Okay, what I want to show you guys today is the difference between, one of the differences between the custom Oliva billet rods that I have spe specially made versus all of the cheaper overseas rods. Um, one that these are, these are a billet rod and these, the rest of them are a forged rod. But one of the big differences is the, the bushing, the size of the small end. You can see the difference in the width. And what happens is the, the bushing in these, um, not only is the quality of the bushing lower on the overseas type rod, but the top of the rod is also too thin. It's like the, it's like the dimensions of the stock rod. These rods are out of my engine, um, my DR750 car that made 680 foot-pounds of torque at four grand, and I ran it for 10,000 miles. Um, the stuff held up well for 10,000 miles worth of street driving and racing it around pretty hard, but I want to give you guys an idea of what happens to these. Now, if you look, I have the wrist pin in this rod, and you, I'm trying to wiggle it back and forth, and you can see there's just... Absolutely no play. Now, take the wrist pin and put it into the rod that came out of my engine. And you can see how loose that fits. You can see if you look at that gap at the top, you can see how much that's moving. Now that's because of the See how bad that is? Now that's because of the bushing. Can't handle the load because of the quality of the bushing is lower, but also the rod is much thinner. So hopefully this little video helps you guys understand what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that the that the the overseas rods are bad. I use them in plenty of engines. It's just that if you're thinking about making 600 wheel horsepower and 600 wheel torque and up, and you're going to race the car a lot, I would use the good old Billet USA rods that I sell.